Hello, everybody. It's football time again in Jellicoe. Tonight, the Blue Devils playing host to the Williamsburg Yellow Jackets. And this is a rainy night here in uh, in the Blue Devils' uh, home turf, Don. This is Jake Bennett along with Don Modis to bring you all the action tonight. Uh, rain falling. Jake, I don't believe we could play a game if we didn't have rain. That's the truth. This, is, this, this tends to be a good game, though. We have the starting lineups that we'll give them to you right now as well. Uh, Williamsburg Yellow Jackets will line up like this. At end will be number one, Brian Rakes. The tackle on the left side, Dwayne Lee, number 67. The guard on the left side, number 61, is Randy Parton. The center, number 76, Rob Powers. Number 73 on the right side will be a guard, and that's Andy Crowley. Number 52, Brian Steely on the right side. And number 45, it will be the end on the right side. The quarterback will be number seven, Mark Huddleston. In the backfield for the Yellow Jackets will be Bill Jones, number 22. Also, number 40, Wade Rains and uh, Brian Bowden, uh, bringing out the, winding out the starting 11 for the blue, for the Yellow Jackets. Number 20 is Brian Bowen, and I think we'll see a great deal of him tonight. For the Blue Devils, they'll start like this. Offensively, number seven, Sammy Marlowe, a senior, He'll be starting at one of the ends. On the left side will be big number 74, Paul Morgan. He's a junior. Number 65, the guard on the left side, Arthur Smith. He's a senior. Number 72, Billy Perkins, a junior. He'll be the big tackle, the biggest boy on this Blue Devil team. Number 52, Sean Ferris will be the guard on the right side, a senior. Number 56, Tracy Creekmore will be the tackle. He's a senior also. Number five, Johnny Baird, a sophomore. He'll be standing in at the tight end on the right side. And as uh, normally uh, starting at quarterback, number 10, Sam Bryant, the senior. Behind him in the backfield, number 32, Derek Brown, a senior. Alfred Kreger, number 45, a junior. And rounding out the starting 11 for the Blue Devils, number 22, Matt Stanley, also a senior. Jellico coming in here tonight with a record of 2-2, two and two, winning over a TSD team out of Knoxville the first game of the season, losing uh, to McCreary County, uh, McCreary Central, uh, the last game they played, they're one and one. I'm sorry. Did I say two and two? You said two and two, Jake. Okay, they're one and one. They play two games, and they're even 500 now. And Don would love to pick up this win tonight. Oh yes, we would, uh, Jake. As we're approaching the kickoff, we have a steady downpour, and I think this would have to benefit Williamsburg since Jellico has probably one of the better passing teams that we've seen in a number of years. Uh, if we have to stay strictly with the ground game, I believe that uh, with Williamsburg's running backs that it may uh, give them a little bit of an edge on us. Well, Williamsburg is a run-oriented team, and they have a real fine one in Brian Bowen, number 20, and you'll be seeing a lot of him tonight. Very, very quick young man and has been the workhorse for this team on the ground. As we said, they are a run-oriented team, which would tend to... Uh, balance the scales to their side tonight. As you said, the, the strong arm of Sam Bryant, along with the very good pass catching by Johnny Baird, Derek Brown, and some of the men out of the backfield, along with and Sammy Marlowe, uh, doing an outstanding job at catching the ball. Sam coming in here in better shape than he's been in a number of years. Uh, a very strong arm, very accurate arm, and he's done a good job for the Blue Devils. I understand he attended about eight weeks of boot camp this summer, and uh, Uncle Sam did his uh, best to get Sam in shape well, over the summer, and he, he reported did. to uh, practice in excellent shape. Jay. Excellent shape. As we're looking onto the field now, you can see the rain steadily falling. Uh, we're only seconds away from kickoff time, actually. Uh, I have been informed by Coach, uh, not Coach, but Principal Johnny Clifton, that in the, in the event that there is any chance of, or of lightning or the first flicker of lightning, the boys will be called off the field as a, pre, as a safety precaution. And uh, this, I think, is in compliance with TWSAA ruling. And, and uh, probably just good judgment, too, Jay. Oh, yes, got to, because uh, these uh, youngsters out here, uh, certainly we don't want any tragedy like that. So Absolutely. we're, we're just seconds away from kickoff, not, or supposedly, anyway. Not only do you have a steady rain, but if you look at the grass, the grass kind of kind of covers the moisture. Uh, there's probably from an inch to two inches of water on that field because when you when you see the, the the people standing out there, as they sink into the grass, Jake, the water comes up around their shoes. So yes. we're going to have a real soggy playing field, and I expect the footing to be treacherous. Now, that may cut down on the sweeps and uh, runs around the corner. 
And if that's the case and they have to try to go up the middle, then they're going to be running into Jellico Street. Well, it's definitely going to be a slow field, Don. There's no question about that. Uh, but uh, really and truly, it's going to be, it's too bad that games are played under these conditions. You cannot get the real true, uh, but this is the way football is, you know. That's played. That's, that's, okay. Okay. Play that game. <laughs> that's right. Them out there and let them do it. Uh, the conditions exist for both teams. That's exactly right. It's supposed to equal itself out, although uh, it's depending. Uh oh, there's the lightning. lightning. Uh, one flash just uh, came through, and the, most of the people gave a big ooh, and uh, we're, we we heard it on our headset. Yes, we did. So uh, we're the Blue Devils, as you see, coming to the sideline, and we're ready to start this game as uh, Williamsburg now breaking their formation on the right side and. Uh, Looks like they're preparing to go to the bench, although Coach Bo Bob Rose wants to keep them out for a couple of more runs. Of course, the Blue Devils, coached by Gary Owens and Dino Oaks, have done an outstanding job here with these Blue Devils. I'm really they, proud of these guys. Jellico looks like they're psyched up uh, tonight, Jake. They've been going like this, Don, ever since they hit the practice field, or ever since they hit the field out here for the warm-up. They're, they're so. either excited about the game or they're having fun splashing <laughs> in the water one. <laughs> One of the two. As we said, the field itself, Don, as right now, it, it looks beautiful. Uh, the uh, the attendance under Principal Johnny Clifton's uh, supervision, I'm sure, has and Gary Owens have just done an outstanding job on the field. Though the markers are crossed, yeah, as you can see, very well, very nicely, and it's uh, looking good. But I'm sure it won't look like that after this ball game is over. So uh, it's going to be a muddy, muddy field. As we're looking down on the field now, we see the captain uh, coming out to meet in the center of the field. Looks like uh, number 10 for the Blue Devils, Brian, along with Derek Brown, the senior, uh, Matt Stanley, and number 52, Sean Ferris. They're representing the Blue Devils. Across the way, we'll try to pick up some numbers and identify them for you. Number seven, I see Mark Huddleston, one of the captains across the way. Number 22, uh, Billy Jones and number 40, Wade Rains, round out the captains for the blue, for the Yellow Jackets as they, the, uh, the officials confer Jake, with both Jake, teams. Jake, do you, do, you, do you think the, the coin will turn over in that <laughs> rain? <laughs> I don't know. He slapped his hand on it, and Williamsburg has won the toss. And will probably receive. No, they declined. They declined to the give Jellico, half, give Jellico its option. So Jellico uh, looks to the sideline of... Uh -huh. Matt Stanley, and he says, what are we going to do, Coach? And the coach gives him a signal. He says, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think here, guys? Well, uh, Jellico will be receiving. I'm sure. No, they'll be kicking. Kicking. And, and this is peculiar, Jake. Not only are they kicking, but they are defending the low side of the well, field, nobody, which means they're kicking uphill. Nobody wants the ball to start the game, Don. I don't know about this. Uh, it might be a good idea. And, but, of course, I you can't know. score without the ball. No. We'll see. <laughs> A lot of strategy went on right there. I'll yes, tell sir. You. Yes, I'll tell sir. you. I don't know. Uh, well, at any rate, uh, good gosh, I I would have taken it and tried to do something with it. Well, we'll not. We'll certainly not second guess. No, I'm coach. just telling you what I would have done. <laughs> <laughs> I would have taken it and either fumbled it or or done something. Well, maybe he's playing for a fumble on their part. Well, you, you, you can never you'll tell. Get that field you position. Tell. Okay, we're you can never tell. We're ready to go as you're looking as the uh, Blue Devils deploy their defensive unit. Ball will be uh, punting or kicking chores will be handled by uh, Craig number 45, Alfred Culver. Craiger. He uh, has the ball in hand now and as he tees it up. Jellico has its uh, kickoff unit in there. Deep for the uh, Yellow Jackets, I see Mark Huddleston, the deep man. He's the quarterback. And uh, here we're ready to go. Craiger says he's ready. The official toots the horn, and this game is underway. Short Got kick. Got a short kick. About uh, 32, Jake. And it's picked up there by, by Owen. Number 21, and he gets very little. Good, sure tackle there by number about 56 for the Blue Devils. Williamsburg will start on their own 38, Jake. Tracy Creekmore with the tackle. And a good tackle, a shoestring tackle, bringing Bowen to the ground, as you said. First and 10, the ball spotted on the 39-yard line. It'll be first and 10 from that point. The Yellow Jackets, this is the first possession for either team. We've just had the kickoff in case you've joined us late. This is the first play from scrimmage as Huddleston brings them to the line. Behind him, Jones, Reigns, and Bowen. Hands under, 
And the give yep. is to the big man through Wade Range. Picks up about three, no more. As the center of the Jellico line uh, converge, we might say. And that, that, that's a lot of uh, beef to converge. Yes, it is. A big man in there. Big Billy Perkins in there uh, holding down the uh, nose guard position there. He's holding down at least one position, at maybe least. two. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay, we're ready to go as we're having to look through our monitor here. We've got a couple of guys out here in front. Uh, we need to get them cleared out if we can here, Johnny, if, if we could. Okay, the handoff is to the left side, and again, I believe it's Wade Rains on the carry. And pick yep, it up, picks up pretty good yardage going over to near the 50-yard uh, line. It's going to be spotted on the 40. 48-yard line. About a thir third and a long one, Jake. That's right. Pick up of about six on the play. As the Blue Devil line on the right side stops him. I didn't get done. You get me the tacklers? Is that what you're calling I'm, on the defense? I'm doing my best okay, when we get to where we can see, Jake. Okay, now we should have a short yardage situation here. In the, uh, and he, he gets the first down. I believe that's Huddleston on the keeper, I believe, yes. And he brings it across the 50 where it will be first down for the Yellow Jackets. That's the initial first down of this game. Well, we had Betty Perkins and Bryant uh, and just about the whole interior line in on the tackle. Short, short yardage situation. The, the Blue Devils kind of suspicioning the, uh, the plunge across the middle, and that was it, but unable to stop it. So it's first and 10 for the Yellow Jackets. We're going to call it the 50-yard line. We have two wide out to the near side, Jake. It, that's... And the give again is to Wade Rains, and he picks up about five, taking the ball down to near the 45-yard line. The Blue Devils 45, but they spot it back on the 46. So we'll give him about four. 9.55 remaining in the first quarter. We've just started this rainy game here, and the rain continues to fall, but it has lightened ever so slightly, we'd say. Jake, I don't know if we're going to get it in or not. Uh, professor's looking very worried back here. Well, maybe it'll let up a little bit. Let's... We'll see. Okay, as uh, hands under Huddleston and barks the signals and gives to, to Bowen. Bowen. Bowen, yes, Bowen picks up very little, and he runs into a wall after he picked up about two, maybe three, but uh, closer to two, I believe. Morgan on the tackle along with Bryant. So it's going to be second, third, third down, and three for the Yellow Jackets. The ball spotted on the 43-yard line. Clock is running in the first quarter. No score. Jake, this is potentially a big down. Uh, Jettico needs to hold him here. This, uh, this, you're exactly right. Okay, Huddleston still has in his backfield Reigns and Boyd. And this time keeps it, and it's a quarterback keeper and mm. finds a hole and picks up the first down, down to the 32-33 yard line. But that was just a... Well, uh, Mark Huddleston just spun with the ball fake to one of the men through, which is one of, which just turned into one of his blocking backs. <laughs> that was just a quarter, quarterback bootleg all the all, way? That's all. Nothing fancy about that. And just followed the blocking through the line and some good blocking. Pulled the Blue Devils back off of the ball. And first down for the Yellow Jackets. We're ready to go now. That's Huddleston again. Same backfield. And this time a little crossbuck action there and falling down, down is number five, he's I believe. Down, uh, number 22, the little quick 22 is Billy Jones, and he falls down short of the, uh, I believe, the original line of scrimmage, Don. He, or very near. He's near the line of scrimmage. Jake, in high school football, there has to be no contact uh, causing the uh, knee to touch the ground. Once the knee touches the ground, the play's over. Right. Okay. Uh, Looks like gain of a yard they give him. I thought he was behind the line of scrimmage, but it was not. Uh, so it's second and nine for the Yellow Jackets. Hands That's under Huddleston coming to this side, almost caught in the backfield, and a good tackle by Brown. Yes, yes sir. Good, sure, low tackle. Derek Brown comes up uh, and places a sure tackle on Huddleston, uh, who uh, and held him to a gain of about one yard. So it's third and third and eight. Actually, the ball spotted on the 30-yard line. That was an unassisted tackle by necessity, Jake. If he got by Brown, he had a clear sailing for some good yardage. Brown is the cornerback on that uh, on that left side, so it's his responsibility, and he fulfilled it. Craiger also in hot pursuit that time. And this time back to pass. The first pass is Huddleston, and no. Oh, good okay. defense there by Bryant going across, along with uh, also into the action number five was uh, Johnny Baird in there to break up uh, 
but the ball was uh, uh, well thrown. Yes, it was well thrown, Jake. Uh, uh, and it was well defensed. I don't know what kind of kicking game Williamsburg uh, has, but this brings up fourth and looks like about seven or eight. Uh, if they have a field goal unit, they'll bring him on. Uh, if not, they'll go for it. They're going for it, Don. Uh, fourth and eight, as you said. So Jellico needs to really get back in the backfield this time. And, and here they come. They're again. coming. And they throw one out to well, Rick. And it's complete screen. there. Uh-oh. We've got a and clip on Williamsburg. Okay. Uh, Sounds good to me. On the far side of the field. Pass was complete to Brian Rakes, and he picked up the first down yardage. But as you said, flags fly, and we'll, uh, the preliminary indication it is a clip against the Yellow Jackets. That, that is the case. So See, I used, to, I used to fuss about those when I uh, was down in the van, but it's a little more fun to talk about them up oh, here. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the uh, penalty will be marked from the point of the infraction which was about the 26 or 7 yard line. So here we go. Should be a 15 yarder. And it is just exactly that. So it still continues to be fourth down. So it's fourth and long now. We're going to call it fourth and 15. It, it was fourth and long and now it's fourth and longer. Well, that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> fourth and eight and now it's fourth and 15. So uh, back to punt uh, will be Wade Reigns for the Yellow Jackets. Standing on about his own 48. Deep to receive is Johnny Baird, number five, and kicks off a wounded pigeon, but a pretty good kick. Hits on about the 12, 15, rolls inside the 10. Looks like it's out about the 10 yard line. So Looks like it went out of bounds about Jellicoe's 10. The officials, so we're waiting for them to spot. Looks like, yep, you're right, Don. Very close to the 10. So uh, it'll be first and 10 there for the Blue Devils. They've not had the, their hands on the ball up until now, but defense has helped. So they'll take over on their own 10, and they need to move it out some, Jay. At 7.05 left in the first quarter. As we said, no score in this game It has Bryant brings them out. It's hard to talk about the shadow of your own goalpost on a night like this, but uh, Jellicoe is in the shadow of their own goalpost. The give is to Brown, I believe. No, that's to Kreger coming through. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's Matt Stanley picking up very short yardage as he tried uh, into the middle of the Blue, the yellow jacket line picked up one and it'll bring up a second and nine situation. The Blue Devils has the ball on their about the, the 11 or 12 yard line. Second down as Brian has in his backfield Brown, Kreger and Stanley. And this time the give is to Kreger and he can't find running. He gets about run, one. One or two yards but uh, Jellico just unable to get break the uh, penetration. Uh, well, couldn't get through the linebackers. They, they broke through the line all right, and some good blocking there on the line, but couldn't get the linebacker out. So. Jake, this is the low end of the field, and it's awfully wet down there. I'm sure the footing is uh, very slippery. That may be why we, uh, Jellico elected to defend that end of the field so they get the upper end uh, in the second quarter. Pick up of two on the play, third and seven, we'll call it, as Jellico. We need some yardage here. Back to pass now is Bryant. He throws one out mm. intended there for for uh, Johnny Baird, but uh, pass thrown under, uh, well, underthrown, we'd say. You have to say that ball's a little slick tonight. Yeah, got to be, because uh, Bryant just didn't look like he ever had the handle on it at all, and he just slipped out of his hand, so it'll bring up a fourth down situation. So dropping back in punt formation is uh, Sammy Marlowe, number seven. He was and getting he'll be off kicking some... from about the three the three yard line looks like. He and needs to get a good lot snap, of good snap, good snap, and he got one off. Don a good punt, low hits on the fifty and dropped there. As Jellico down the field, feel in a hurry, hit once, twice, and finally brought down on the forty four yard line. Good defense by the Blue Devils coming up very quickly. Number. 32 Brown and number 52 I, I, also in on the play that's Sean Ferry. I thought Lady Luck may smile on us that we if we'd have been downfield a little faster we could have had a turnover there Jake. Well the the, the punt was a low punt Don. It was a driving got good punt. distance got good distance but low hard to cover and I thought Jellico did an outstanding oh, job did. of coverage that time. They did I just wanted that ball for Jellico in the 50. First and 10 for the Yellow Jackets a ball on the 44 yard line the Blue Devil 45 in motion is number 22 Two, Bill Jones to the left side, a little cross buck action. It's time given to number one, Rakes. The end around as what it is. Actually, it's a short end around. He comes up, he fakes 
going forward, breaks over, and comes right across the center. Fakes to the tailback. Right. And so it's just a simple handoff by the quarterback. Uh, the end around, as a general rule, comes around the other end, but he yes, did sir. not. So he made he, just a running back out of him, actually. He ran almost like a pulling guard. That's exactly what he did. 451 remaining in the first quarter. No score. Uh, still raining, as you can probably see on your, on your screen. As the Jackets deploy their offense, Huddleston hands under, back to pass. Some, oh, wide open back there. Ooh, good defense. Bobbles the oh. ball. That's Brian Rakes as he bobbles the ball. Johnny Baird there defending, hitting him just as he should when the ball With hit his bobbles. Uh, also in on that action was Alfred Kreger back there defending, uh, uh, giving an assist to Johnny Baird. But uh, Brian Rakes was wide open, and the pass was perfectly thrown off. Yes, it was. Uh, Jake, the amazing thing about it, even though the rain is just coming down in gobs in great quantities, neither team's afraid to put the ball in the air. And this time a quarterback keeper up the middle and uh, just it's close. power, power it's, blocking. He should be short by about a yard. I believe he picked it up, Don. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. The officials? Okay, Don. They were close enough for an official's official measurement, so we're going to see. It's kind of hard since we don't have hash marks to work with, but... Uh, we're now that was strictly now eyeball engineering. This did bring up, this will bring up a fourth down situation if they're short on this one, Don. Uh, we're looking across the way as you're looking across the way, seeing the chain stretch, and it's going to be short. Short Jake, by you, about a foot. Did you doubt about me? A foot. Did you doubt me? Well, you said a yard, Don. It was short <laughs> a foot. <laughs> but you thought he had it. <laughs> no, I, well, I was, it was close. I knew that. It, it had to be close or they wouldn't have measured it. So that's where I judge. I placed my Yeah, judge. but I, I, I got that one uh, two weeks ago. There was an inch and three quarters short. Yeah. Okay, we're ready to go back to action. And it's fourth and about uh, a foot. As again, I'm sure Williamsburg, Huddleston gets the ball. And that's and all he does. got it. Don, we're going to have to make him pay for some of these uh, carries that he's making. The, the quarterback generally doesn't carry the ball that much, and uh, Jellico is just not punish him enough. They're going to have to really put, just sock it to him. Put a little leather to him. That's exactly right. Make him give that ball off. <laughs> make him <laughs> so hand it boy, off. Here, boy, you run that thing. I don't want it. You. But one of these big boys, uh, something like Billy Perkins. Could be like uh, Coach Owens and Greasy Server in the old turkey bowl. <laughs> oh, well, I remember that very well. And the handoff is to number 40 going through Wade Rains and hits short yardage this time. Picking uh, up maybe a yard or two. Uh, down to the 30 as the ball spotted squarely on the 30. As they get in a new, uh, well, a drive. I don't know third. if you ever played in any of the old turkey bowls. Oh, or not, I was Jake. in that one, Don. I was, <laughs> I was in that one. They got cold in there. I was in that one. Yes, sir. I, I played in that with grease and all that grease. <laughs> <laughs> the practices were more interesting than the game, I'll tell you that. They, we tried to kill each other in practice. And almost did. And come game time, you I, had. <laughs> I got killed in practice. Yeah. Uh, Wilbur Shown, a boy by the Wilbur, uh, name of Wilbur Shown, killed me, Don, uh, in a practice. <laughs> many times. <laughs> yeah, many times. He, he had legs. Uh, most of the people here in Jellico Wilbur will remember Wilbur. He had legs just about the size of a churn, his upper thigh. <laughs> and he killed That wasn't even times. a small churn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he soured on me. Third yes, and third and two for the Jackets as uh, the what? balls spotted on the... That was uh, Watkins on the two. carry, Jake, while we were reminiscing. Okay. Okay. Uh, Huddleston hands under again. Now this time fakes and keeps Quarterback the ball. Keeper. He needs to be hit hard. There and he is hit hard. But and the ball looks like it's loose. And Jellico recovers. Yes, sir. -y. The Blue Devils have recovered down inside the 20-yard yeah. line. The... 15, maybe the 16-yard line. That's what you were talking about, making him pay That's for keeping exactly the ball. That's a good, hard lick. I'm not sure who did that, but a good, hard lick was placed on Huddleston. And he put the helmet right on the ball. Sure did. Beautiful defensive play by the Blue Devils. 235 as Jellico uh, looking at the first quarter here. As we said, no score in this game. As Bryant... No change in Jellicoe's backfield. Brown, Kreger, and Stanley back there. They have it on about the 15, And the is to the first man through. I'm not sure who that is. That is uh, Kreger, number uh, number 45. Picks up about, about a yard. No more at this, the center of this Williamsburg line. Hard to move out. Uh, it's a big uh, center. Billy Perkins, Arthur Smith, and Sean Ferris along that front line, along with Paul Morgan, Tracy Creekmore, 
Uh, they're the interior offensive line, but Johnny Baird is one end, and Sammy Marlowe is the other end. We need to drive them back about three steps. And this time to give, uh, no, let's see what happened. And huh. Brown is caught in the backfield as Jellico tried to get outside with Brown. Brown has good speed, but no blocking. Brown had no place to go that time. Jellico and, uh, does not block the corners well. A sizable Dave. loss, a loss of six on the play. Third and uh, third and, well, we're going to call it 13. At uh, least. Jellico has the ball now on the 14, uh, no, about the 18-yard uh, line. No, that's about, about the 12-yard 12, 12, 12 12. line. Okay. Bryant, he splits them out now. Looks right and left, back to pass, and he throws one out and wide open. Oh, it's intercepted up there by uh, Williamsburg on the 40-yard line. So, Don, that's, that's a pretty good punt, really. <laughs> <laughs> Under the circumstances. <laughs> Under the circumstances. And uh, so the ball will uh, be uh, well, handed over to Williamsburg about, here on the interception. About the 38, Jake. I don't know how they gained two yards on the spot, but yeah, they did. They sure did. The boy was down on the 40-yard line as squarely as I could see it, but that, the officials were not in position, apparently. We'll say that. <laughs> we'll give them the seconds. benefit of the doubt. 52 <laughs> seconds uh, in the clock ticking here. No score as Huddleston again, hands under. Behind him, Boyne, and here comes Brian Boyne and looking for running room. No, he fumbled. Out. I can't tell. He may have fumbled it out of bounds, Jake. I see Bryant uh, making the initial contact there and no gain on the play. Yes, there was a, a sizable gain on the roll, as a matter of fact. On the loose ball got away and rolled down the field for about five yards. I think the fumble gained more than the That's run. That's what I'm saying. He was hit uh, in the backfield. Actually, uh, number 23, Mike Taylor, was the carry, was a ball carrier at that time as Boyne was being rested. Boyne back in there now, along with uh, Wade Raines. Boyne is on the back of the eye as Huddleston gives fakes. No, and uh, there the goes the bootleg. Got a sour on this guy now, and he's ridden down. Ridden down by, looks like Johnny Baird on the tackle. A, a TD saving tackle, too, Don. Yes, Nobody could have caught that guy. Uh, we're going to have to learn on defense to stay at home. Well, they are really, they took the fake very handily that time. Uh, good ball handling there by Mark Huddleston as he, he faked to... Uh, First to range Jake, and then that's, to Bowen. That's the end of the first quarter, and uh, we have a scoreless first quarter, and they'll change ends of the field. Okay, Don, we're trying to remember this 0 0 first quarter, and so we can kind of keep up what's going on as uh, this thing's going to be, uh, looks like the, 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 no, the rain might have, have you know, decreased just the scope, we'd say. Oh, yes, it's but not much. Uh, Williamsburg has enjoyed a, a first quarter in Jellico territory. They've been uh, on our end of the field. Yeah, all Jellico night has long. had terrible, terrible field position every time they've gotten the ball. And as you said, this is really, really, it's a rough situation. But uh, we've had on two a night like this. We've had two possessions: one starting at the ten, the other starting at the twelve. Okay, as the uh, the officials out on the field now, squaring things up to start this second quarter. Looks like the ball is near the twenty. The coaches, as we see uh, the defensive coach, Dino Oaks, out into the defensive uh, unit's huddle there for the Blue Devils. I now still believe he'd like to put the pads on. <laughs> Dino looks like he could. He looks like a racehorse out there. Good condition. As you're getting a shot at the clock over there, we have 10 seconds to uh, run down before we can uh, start this second quarter. And you're looking at, you can still see the rain fall on the They the have to run. give them a 60-second break between quarters. That's right. Okay, we're ready to go. The ball spotted on the 20-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the uh, Yellow Jackets from that point. And the give is to number 40, Range, and he gets nothing. As I see number 56, Tracy Creekmore in there on the tackle, along with gonna, number 52, Sean Ferris. They're going to give him about one, Jake. So a short yardage uh, gain there by Wade Range, the, the senior. Big tough looking fullback but nothing there as Sean Ferris and uh, Tracy Creek will plug that gap very nicely and uh, okay ready to go now as Huddleston hands under and drops the ball drops the ball and hit there in the backfield by Sean Ferris yes sir 
Sean Farish very alertly sees the quarterback drop the ball in the backfield. A very poor close uh, to no gain. Very poor uh, exchange from center to quarterback that time. Lost the handle on it. May have been a very fortunate exchange. To Sean Farish coming through with a very nice tackle. I don't Good like pursuit. to see. I don't like to see that ball down there on the 19. <laughs> No, that's I like four, to that's that four ground, down though. territory. Big number 76, Rod Powers. Looks like the front end of a Mack truck. He's the center for this Yellow Jacket team. Not third and eight. And back to pass and good pursuit. And the pass is thrown out to range. It's completed and falls down. A uh, very short pickup. Pickup about uh, four. Four, no, maybe four. Yes, the ball spotted about the 15 yard line. And it's fourth and four for the Yellow Jackets as the ball spotted on the 15-yard line of the Blue Devils. Blue Devils need to hold here, needless to say. 10-20 remaining in the second quarter. Clock is running oh, it's on the on the completed pass. Unfortunately, that ball is about the 14-yard line. Okay, we're ready to go. Fourth and five, the, the clock shows, and we're going to go along with that as Huddleston hands under single setback. No, he has two in the backfield. Quarterback and keeper time, and down the, option the ball play. Goes. Yes, sir. Over to the pass, the uh, looks flip, like Jellicoe's hell. The flip out was to Brian Bowen, and he couldn't handle the ball. And the Jackets uh, uh, turned the ball over on downs as a Blue Devils, a very nice defensive stand here, Don. This is two good defensive stands they've had tonight. Yes, it is, Jay. Outstanding Jake. down deep, I would say. And believe it or not, this is our best field position at about the 16 yard <laughs> line. <laughs> Boy, that's terrible. Okay, Jellicoe's going to get things uncracked here in a few minutes as Sam Bryant, the big we're senior going, quarterback. We're going downhill now. He comes out, uh, no change in the backfield. I see uh, Brown back there on uh, as a single setback now. Has a, the other sp uh, wide <laughs> split out and the pass completed outside of Johnny Baird. A short gainer, but it is a completion, Don. Looks like about a three-yard pickup on that, Jay. Just a, uh, Sam just stands up and very quickly throws a pass out to the tight end, Johnny Baird, on the right side. It's completed uh, for about uh, four yards. The clock, score clock shows, and we're going to – we said more like uh, three. three, so yeah. – well, maybe there's... They Jake, no offense that, intended, hey. but I got screened out by a big old red and black umbrella just about the time he snapped that ball. <laughs> well, here we go. Second and eight, we're going to call it for the Blue Devils. This time, throwing the pass out to Brown, and he tries to get around the end, hit once, twice, and is ridden out of bounds on the 22 or 23-yard line. A pickup of about... Three more. About three, yes, three or maybe four, but closer to three, I believe. The ball is going to be spotted on the 22-yard line, so it'll be a pickup of three. Third and three for the for the Blue Devils, and it's a long three, of course. Number 61 going in for the Blue Devils. Let's see who he will be going in for. That's uh, Mark Johnson in at one of the, the uh, yes, the guard on the right side. Now, we need a first down here, Jake. Let's, let's get up and get them, boys. Quarterback, Brian, hands under. Calls a play and to give up the middle and hit once, twice, and finally uh, getting over the uh, what could be real close to it is number 22, uh, Matt Stanley. Okay. It's close. We're close, but I, hmm, I'm afraid we're short. It's not that I'm a pessimist. I'm no, just no. afraid we're short. It do look like it, Don. We've got a we've got a light post in the wall here between <laughs> and a switch box. Makes it, makes it hard, to, but uh, we're having not the chain to mention the umbrellas. Yeah, <laughs> the chain is stretched and it is a first down. Yes, okay. sir. Go I, big I, blue. I stand corrected. All right, Don, you do one. My God, in time you've uh, you've had uh, so many good ones. So you're, you're due one. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We <laughs> All right. We're ready we to need go that first Jellico, uh, needed that first down for sure. Got a, just a little bit of breathing, breathing room as the ball is spotted on the 27-yard line. This will be uh, first and 10 for the Blue Devils from that point. Brian gives this time to Stanley. He Keeps picks up about four, Jake. The ball's going to be spotted near the 31-yard line. As Jellico able to punch it out for about four-yard gain that time. Good hard running by Matt Stanley. He's a senior, but a good hard uh, running kid. He lower, he don't care to lower that shoulder, Don, and lower the head, too. 
Uh, he's a, he's a, I'm impressed with this little guy. Not a big guy at all, but, but contact, he knows this is it. This is his senior year. Contact doesn't up. bother him, Jake. Not at all. We're ready to go now. He's Brian, this time giving to Kreger, and no gain as he loses his footing along the line of scrimmage, and he's pulled down there, and no gain on the play. As Jellico now in number 65 back in the down uh, with marker, the play. The down marker just did not move. Arthur Smith, uh, the guard on the right side, he goes back in with the play from Coach uh, Dean, uh, Gary Owens. Owens. And we're, uh, as Jellico deploy now, sending three wideouts to the left side, flooding the left area as Bryant looks at something he doesn't like. He calls timeout. Jake, it looked like there was a little bit of mix-up. He could not get his wide receiver set. And well, I think he called that time out to avoid the delay of game. Well, very smart uh, play there by Brian as uh, we don't need it now. We're down here in uh, Never Never Land. Never Never <laughs> Land is exactly right. Jellico needs to pick this first down up. We're looking at a third and seven. The ball is on the 30-yard line, which, as you said, this for certain is the best uh, field position they've had throughout the night and uh, need to keep this drive alive. They picked up two first downs on I believe two first downs, or one, two first downs on this possession. Uh, so Jellico needs to keep this thing going. As you're looking at Coach Owens coming off the field, there's the water boy, and I'll tell you what, I don't, <laughs> I don't think the boys need, need, much, of don't need much of it out there tonight. <laughs> As you're looking at Big Billy Perkins, big number if 72. If you get thirsty tonight, all you have to do is just look up, Jake. <laughs> Perkins dwarfs the rest of that Jellico team out there. Big boy, he's a junior, be back next year, and looking for big thanks from this kid. He's a... He's played an outstanding game. For, he's a, he, I've not got his weight or anything down here, but he's got to be well over 200 pounds. Biggest boy on the field anyway. Jake, you know our uh, friend uh, Tootie Culver. Oh. Uh, Tootie and I were discussing a game one time, and he was complaining about a loss, and he said, yes, but it snowed on us. <laughs> and I said, well, did it not snow on the other team? A little pass Ooh, down pass, the flat. Yes, sir. And it's Stanley. Stanley looking Picking for a blocker. A looking for a block. He gets he one. Go. Number one. Only one man to get him. Now he's finally knocked out of bounds on About the 31-yard line. Yard line. A 31-yard line. Beautiful run by Matt Stanley as he came from his, his offensive end position that time. Came across the middle and catches the ball about two yards across and the line of And sloshing down the sideline. But some good downfield blocking. Uh, I was impressed uh, very much with oh, that. Oh, yes. Yes, there was at least uh, four or five good downfield blocks, Jake. So the Blue Devils, in uh, for the first time in the Yellow Jacket territory, the ball spotted on the 32-yard line, and again, Brian back to pass. pass. Got one out, and it's completed there. Yes, sir. Completed the second Sammy ball. Milo. And he's down to near the 10-yard right. line. About the 12. And it's first down for the Blue Devils as the Blue Devils definitely threatening now. 640 remaining in the first half as Jellico uncorks it as Bryant drops back, throws a beautiful lob pass out to Sammy Marlowe, runs under the ball, gets about three or four yards on his own after he catches the ball. But good defense there by the Blue by the uh, Yellow Jackets after he made the catch. Two men there in that position, just unable now to we need it to punch it in. Okay, we're ready to go as Bryant. Hands under now, has his uh, setback spread, uh -oh. and let's False see. start, Jellico. And that's the first one of the night. Yes, this it is. This is in a position we certainly do not need that right now. No, it's Jellico. offside Williamsburg. All right. Well, it is not the first one. Jellico has played an air-free game as far as that's concerned, Doc. And Williamsburg has two penalties oh. for about 13 yards because the 15-yard uh, was from the point of, of the foul, right. and it really was a net of about an eight-yard penalty. Okay, it's first and five now for the Jellico Blue Devils as Bryant takes them down. I guess the contact on the offside would cause somebody to move, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Okay, we're ready to go now. Bryant gives two. Uh, this time looks like Brown. I saw the two, but I don't know if it's a 2-2 two -two or a 3-2. And it is uh, Brown. Yes, sir. Derek Brown picking up about a yard yeah. on the play. So it's second and four for the Blue Devils. The ball spotted about the, we're going to call it the eight-yard line. Eight, uh, eight Jake, yards one time Taylor. for the benefit of the folks, uh, we're having camera trouble tonight. All this rain is causing uh, the, the equipment to fog up. They've got it open, uh, trying to dry it out. 
And the give this time to Stanley, a second man through, and he's caught in the backfield, going to be thrown for about a yard loss. And now it's a Brown again. Again, Brown unable to get to the outside as the blocking on the right side just couldn't hold out the defenders. And big number 70 runs in for Jellico. And That's Leon Dean. And we turned it over, Jake. And the ball pops free on the... Well, I didn't see that, Don. Unfortunately... Well, we'll get it back right here. No <laughs> problem. No sweat. But we sure needed that score. We needed it. You. Yes, we did. <laughs> Build a fire under this Blue Devil team. I'll tell you what, they played an outstanding first half. I am tickled to death with them. But they're back on defense again, being tested as Huddleston gives to the big fullback coming through. And he picks up some good yardage, brings the ball up across the 10 to about the 12-yard line. Picked up about six five yards on the play, Coach, so it'll bring up a second and five situation. You know, Coach Owens has to be biting his fingernails oh, after, after no. playing so yes, hard uh, uh, and getting down knocking on the door, having the ball first and five. Uh, that's a heartbreaker. Johnny job. Barrett is one quarterback, uh, cornerback, uh, along with Brown, the other cornerback. The safety is Bryant. Fumble the... Okay, that's... But watch, it'll fumble no forward game. every time. Almost. Is that what you call bouncing right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Pickup of about a half yard on the play on the fumble. 4-16 uh, is remaining here in the first half. No score. Now, as the Jellico playing host to the visiting Yellow Jackets you, from Do you think at this point that uh, Dino is telling uh, those boys to watch that quarterback keeper? Third and four as motion this time. They won't the right pass side, down there. And the gill is to the big fullback going around the right side, and it's going to be close. Uh -huh. Number 40, the big I think he fullback, has it, Wade Range, and it's going to be close. I believe they're going to ask for another measurement, and we're waiting to see. Uh, I, believe he, I believe he has this one. Good defense, but some good blocking on the right side of that uh, yellow jacket line. They've got some big boys across there. I'll tell you what, Brian Steely, a big boy, uh, uh, he was leading the blocking oh, on oh that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> first down. It is first down by about an inch, huh? I wasn't off. Professor is trying to correct me up there, but uh, we're going to count that one. 342 uh, in, the, in the first half. and uh, I wish I had been wrong on that one. Picks up the first down. So Jellicoe's defense called on again as they uh, they need the turnover right here, Don. We need that ball back at, uh, at, oh, at this yes. point, really. Yes, and, and this position. We need to hit some good hard hitting here. Right here, here we go. We yes. need a, Come on, we need boys, a fumble let's go. right here. And wiggling and squirming and picking up about, about two, two or three yards. That's number 20 on the carry, Brian Bowen, and he hadn't gotten loose up to this point. We're going to knock on some wood here. But I understand the boy has a lot of potential, Don. Has it's very quick. But uh, so far, Jellico has been able to contain this young man, picking up uh, two. Well, no, L.A. got gained one yard on the play. So it's second and nine as the uh, Yellow Jackets now come up to the line. Huddleston fakes and gives to the second man through. That's a number 22, the little man. Uh, that's Billy Jones. And he keeps going as Jellico uh, had two or three mm. men riding on him. Uh, Don, but just unable to bring him down, and he picks up the first down. Ball uh, now across the 30-yard line to the 32, 33-yard line. It's first and 10 there for the Yellow Jacket. Jake, we keep worrying about Bowen, and what happens? The little boy gets it. That's true. That's right. Well, uh, you know, they have some decoys in there, and uh, that could very well have been one of them. And Jellico deploy, you're looking now at Jellico's defense as a uh, Sean Ferris playing the... You know, we thought tonight right uh, with Bowen we were going to see shades of TSD. And uh, and let's see, the ball's fumbled, but it's uh, falling on again by one of the Yellow Jackets. You know, Williamsburg... This can't hold up, Don. They've what? had about a four or five at least fumbles, at least four or five. Williamsburg's fumbled at least four times, Jake, and recovered it, and they have fumbled once or twice out of bounds. That's true. And when Jellico fumbles, it... Seems like it goes over the other way. Uh, <laughs> that's the breaks in this old game of long ball. Well, that's know? why it, it's not round. <laughs> that ball it? just don't bounce right sometimes. <laughs> okay, we're ready to go. Jellico uh, defensively looking uh, across the line there at the Yellow Jackets as the Jackets look for a uh, second and nine. And 
throw. Got a man oh, open out here. Get this one, Johnny, and go with it. Oh, had it all the way. Jo uh, it was too easy, uh, Don. Yeah, yes, it was. The pass was. Uh, Johnny had time to sit up for the pass and just wait for it. He yeah. waited for it, and then he knew it was his. And the ball just squirted out of his arm. John, uh, Johnny has good hands. The yeah. only thing that I can think, Jake, he wanted to run before he, he got the really ball. He really did. He knew what he wanted to do with the ball, that's for sure. He had some clear field in front of him, and he was ready to well, get it Well, he had a go. good 20 yarders there. He, uh, no question before he would have gotten any, any contact whatsoever. Okay, it's third and 10 again as the yeah, Jackets back, back to, to pass. pass. And again, this one comes out to the short man, number 20, that's Bowen. And now he's oh. going to see what he can do. And he's down at the 50-yard line as Baird, along with number 56, Tracy Creekmore over there defending, along with Alfred Craig number 45 also there. Number 70 also in on the play for the Blue Devils. That's Leon Dean. And uh, it's a first down for the Jackets, though, as they have a minute 21 right near, still left on the clock. Right near midfield. The pass, uh, just a little halfback pitch out. Uh, really, uh, those little passes out in the flat are hard to defend, yes, Jake, on a, on a wet well, field like this. The uh, decoy, the tight end, went way down, driving way down the field, pulled our defensive cornerback back, and this time going into the middle and almost intercepted there. And the pass was... I don't know if it was to Jones or Bowen. I don't know either. But the pass was complete, apparently... For no gain. <laughs> For no gain. Back to the to the line of scrimmage. Possibly a loss, loss of a yard on the on the play. It is a loss of a half yard anyway. I so thought one of those big linemen was going to get an interception then. On the jacket 49 yard line. You know that's second that, and ten. That's an interior lineman's dream is to get an interception. Oh yeah. This time the pitch back to Boyd and defense way. Got, got a hold of him around the leg there, and that's old that's old uh, Sammy Marlowe coming in from his defensive end position. And looks like they've lost him about another yard. Two and yards on the, two yards lost. No, a one yard loss as Sammy Marlowe came across the line that time playing his defensive end position. Did had a block Had a blocker out in front of him, Don, but Sammy rolled the blocker out, threw down the, the interference and held on to that leg. Made a a beautiful tackle. He said, I've got you. I'm not letting right. go. He put the bear hug on that leg. Yes, he did. Is Williamsburg calling a timeout? Yes, timeout with 23 seconds remaining in uh, the first quarter. As, uh, I don't understand that. If Jellico could get their hands on the ball, they may have time for a couple Hail Marys. Well, uh, I think uh, Williamsburg will be throwing two times here, Don, so they want to make sure that uh, they have their strategy exactly right. I think it's a good timeout, really. But, of course, it also gives Jellico time to set up their defense as you're looking now at the defensive coach, Dino Oaks, coming off the field. Rain still falling, and we're only 23 seconds away from halftime here. Dino gave us a signal. I don't know uh, what it was, but... Uh, well, that means we're going to get them. Is that what it means? <laughs> Go get them, boys. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's fed them some raw meat on this play right here. Uh, third and... Third and actually, we're going to call it 11. The ball spotted on the 48-yard line, the, the jacket 48. As Huddleston hands under, has in the the uh, eye formation. I had a half-back option. Brian Rakes, he's oh. going to intercept it. Go, baby, go. It's intercepted there by, by uh, Sammy Marlowe. And flags fly, but Sammy Marlowe makes the interception. And Jellico, Jellico has the ball on the 22 or three yard line where that flag is down. looks like an illegal block on jellico jellico yes the uh, preliminary signal it does indicate that don but jellico does have the ball and i was hoping it was a face mask but it uh probably an illegal block so this time jellico will be marched back but it is jellico's ball well, back. how many mark yards are they going to mark it time. back well that's about a 25 yard <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the flag was down on yeah. the 30. Yeah, it's well, now that's 15 yards. I guess he's pretty well right, Don. The ball's now spotted on the 45-yard line. So it's a 15-yard penalty against the Jellico Blue Devils. And they didn't need it, but they do have the ball on the interception by Sammy Marlowe. Okay. And well. timeout called for and given to the Blue Devils as now uh, Dino Oaks goes back onto the field again. Oh, I'm sorry. I know what happened. We, we've got two five-yard marks out there, Jake, uh, and I'm not used to that. See, and I was counting well, each of those as 10. Well, you've got a mark on the 45. Of each on the side. 45. Yes, that's to line up the uh, offensive That's the neutral players. zone. That's a neutral zone, right? You are. Okay, so timeout called for well, it, given here to the Blue Devils as you're looking into the huddle now as Dino Oaks 
looks across the way and looks for a signal from uh, the I'm head coach. I'm uh, not going to tell Owens. you that it was prophetic a while ago, but if I were Williamsburg, I would not have called that time out. Well, uh, who knows? I told you. It worked. Well, I warned worked. you, Jake. <laughs> well, Don, I don't see your reasoning, but I'll go along with it. Uh, <laughs> well, we were sitting back playing center field, waiting on that pass. Well, uh, oh, at the same you just time, don't it do could that. not have been a pass. Don, you just don't do that on a wet field, Jake. <laughs> we're ready to go. First and ten right. for the Blue Devils. The ball on the 45, and Bryant back, and he throws Eight. a little short pass. It's a skipper. And only three seconds off the clock, and it's completed to Johnny Baird, the sophomore. I, or did they no, say no? It, no, it hit the ground first. Okay, that was one of them double short, hoppers. Short hop. Short hopper. Seven seconds is all that remains. Maybe Don that was setting something up here, wanting to go. No, that could have been that little flea flicker. Yeah, well. That little Alabama play. Little, I yeah. Don't know. I don't that know. That was it. That's what it was, Don. That was that tight end supposed to catch that ball and, and kick, kick it, back. it back to the halfback coming around. Yeah, the right but he end. was beyond the line of scrimmage. Here we go. Here we go again. This is it. Oh, uh, Brown yeah. was supposed to have gotten yeah. the ball. Uh, and That's oh, all. That's it. And just didn't have time to to get the ball pa uh, back to Brown, and that is the end of the first half. Yeah, Brown would have had well, loads of running room. Well, if he, uh, he, he was it open, back. and he just couldn't pitch it back, just as he come down there, but a good Jake, uh, this, good was a, this was an excellent uh, first half on the part of both ball teams. That's exactly right, and we'll tell you now that we are halftime uh, uh, here with uh, at Hoyt Morton Field and Bill Humphrey Stadium here in Jellicoe, and we're going to pause now for, uh, let's see, I don't know if we have any stats or not, Don. Uh, we'll have some stats uh, momentarily, Jake. We'll give them for you uh, at the beginning of the second half. Okay, so after we tell you again the score of tightest game, or scoreless game here in the at the end of the two quarters, well played game, and we're going to be back. Hard fought. Hard fought. And we'll be back after these messages for the uh, second half, so stay with us. Thank you. We start the second half, Jake. We have some uh, the first half stats. Uh, Stanley rushed three times for nine yards. Gregory two uh, times for a total of two yards. Brown had two attempts for one yard. Jellico gained a total of 12 yards on the ground. In passing, uh, Bryant was five of eight for 72 yards. He had one intercepted. Uh, giving us a total offense of 84 yards and four first downs. We recovered uh, one fumble and one interception. Uh, on the defensive side, uh, Billy Perkins led Jellicoe in tackles with five. Derek Brown had four, Sean Ferris four, Matt Stanley three, Alfred Gregory three, and Leon Dean three. Good, uh, good job defensively there by the Blue Devils. Uh, the uh, Yellow Jackets ran up and down the field mm -hmm. all night uh, tonight, actually. And Jellicoe cutting them off at the pass, so they've got to continue to do that in the second half. Uh, Jellicoe coming up with, uh, as we said, only uh, 12 yards uh, on the ground in the first half, but a uh, good job by Bryant uh, as he completed uh, eight of uh, six of nine or something like that for the, in the first half. In, in, in a driving rain. Kept us into the ball game. There's no question about that. So uh, we're looking for more good things. There's some good things needs to happen to Jellicoe here in the in the second half. They did didn't have good field position throughout the first half. Only one time did they get the ball. Uh, well, they got the ball inside their 20-yard uh, line, even on that first possession. Yes. Marched the ball deep into the Williamsburg uh, territory for a, for a fumble by Brown. And we, we got it in the shadow of our goal post and gave it up in the shadow of theirs. Right. Okay, uh, Jellico uh, looking at the sideline for the option. As uh, Coach Gary Owens looks out onto the field, and the official comes over to uh, discuss the situation with the ones. And now we're all squared away, and the signal will be given here. Williamsburg will receive in the second half. Jellicoe will be kicking from left to from right to left in uh, as you're looking at the screen. And you see Matt Stanley there, the come captain sloshing of the off. <laughs> yeah, comes <laughs> slash sloshing off of the field. The rain has almost stopped, Don. It's a uh, falling very slightly. Jake, if you'll notice, Coach Owens elected to kick from the down or the uh, the 
low side of the field, kicking upfield so that uh, we'll have the ball coming uh, downhill for the, the fourth, fourth quarter. quarter. That's exactly and right. that paid off well for us in the first half. Well, we went, uh, went the, the, the first time we got a chance to do it in the first half, we certainly did it, taking the ball down inside uh, the 20 yard line and just unfortunately had a turnover there. But uh, ever, this, this game got uh, a full full second half to go and Jellico looks like they're uh, they played keep, well in the first half they keep, just didn't keeping, get the break keep in, in mind our coach is a mathematician and this is a game of inches I oh, guess he's probably it's, got his slide rule out there with him right now do, doing, doing precise oh, calculations <laughs> but Jellico will be go. they'll be kicking off now to start the second half as Jellico's defense uh, comes out deploy across the field they'll line up just uh, inside the 45 yard line and teeing the ball up will be Alfred Kreger, number 45. He has the ball there now. Sets it down and and across the way, the uh, offensive unit for the visiting Yellow Jackets deploy. And deep for uh, the Jackets is Mark Huddleston to, uh, to receive the kick. And we're just seconds away from the kickoff. There's the sound of the whistle, and we're underway as Craiger gets it again, not too deep. It's on the 30. Up by Bowen. Down to the 32-yard line, or 22-yard line, and Bowen brings it back up across the 35. Finally hit there by Brown as he comes up, puts a good tackle on him. Jake but hanging on to the leg there was number 61, Don. It took about four to bring him down. As Mark Johnson making contact on Bowen. And a good run back on the kick uh, as the ball is brought out to the 40-yard line. It'll be first and 10 from that point. Williamsburg starting off with good field position. They have almost every time they had the ball. In the backfield, none, as they are uh, only a single set back in the backfield back there. It's range. And now motion coming to this side. That's uh, Taylor. And the pitch is to Taylor, and he's hit good. By about three or four defenders, I see a Sean Fresh getting up, Bryant getting up, Craiger getting up, and good defense there as Jellico comes up and meets him in the meets him in the hole, and he gets about one, about one, second and nine for the Jackets, as the ball spotted on the 41 yard line. The, this uh, second half just started as we have uh, exactly 11 minutes to play in the third quarter. No change in the backfield for the Yellow Jackets, with the exception of the placement of the players. Only Wade Reigns in the backfield there. Now it's Brian, yes, Bowen comes, and a give is to Reigns, and again, Jellico there defensively. He picks up about two, one or two. Big number 74 getting up. That's Paul Morgan on the tackle, and along also with number 75 coming out there, or 72, that's Billy Perkins, and uh, no gain on the play. Gain of one, maybe. Third and eight, we're going to call it. The ball spotted on the 43. The Williamsburg 43. And we have a official, timeout. The official. I believe that's for equipment Let's adjustment, see. Jake. Looks like some equipment problems. Yes, the official now working with uh, one of the uh, jacket linemen, apparently. Having some. Uh, that's Looks number like his 70. Pad's loose. Yes, number 70. That would be uh, Jeff. Uh, Jeff Metters having a little adjustment made to some of the equipment, and we're ready to go as the Jackets come up to the line now. This time a full house backfield. Brings up third and about seven. With big Wade Reigns in there at fullback. He's the up back, and right. another fumble by uh, the quarterback, and this time and he they powered him. on it. He yes, picks up about one. Good, aggressive play there by Tracy Creighton, or number 56, coming up from his line back in position. He really churned him down. Yes, he did. And in comes Williamsburg's punt unit. Well, they're giving him a little better spot than I thought, so it's going to bring up fourth and five. And uh, Williamsburg's punt unit's on the field. Ball spotted on the 45. Very poor snap from center, but gets the ball off nicely back to uh, run the ball back. It's Johnny Baird. He gets the ball, brings it along the sideline, hit once, twice. Keeps going and finally out of bounds uh, about, about the 28-yard yard line, line, 27 we're going to call it. So it's a good run back there by Johnny Baird. Jellico almost got that ball back there, Don. It was a, slow, a low snap from center. And that's the kind that gets away from you and gets blocked right, sometimes. But he got off a good one. 
as Jellico went able to put really good pressure on the punter. And Johnny didn't have much room to work, Jake. He showed no fear. He just got the ball and back up the well, sideline. He, he, he had one uh, one blocker back there and uh, worked him very nicely, rode away from a couple of would-be tacklers and picked up some nice yardage. Okay, this time the give is to Stanley oh, and he no. fumbled it. But and I, I don't know. It. I, let's see. I don't know. Jellico, a blue devil was right there on the ball. We'll, let, we'll have to wait and see. I did see a blue shirt there in the vicinity. Uh, and we it kept is, it. Yes, we kept sir. it. We Number kept 61 it. comes in there and jumped on it. That's old Mark Johnson with the recovery. There's Mark coming out now, but he made a nice, uh, nice. Uh, uh, when they get in those he pile attacked up, that ball. Yes, he I'll did. When they get in those pile up, Jake is just hooking to claw it out from That's under him. That's right. But I thought he was the first man on the field. As another adjustment being made now to the jackets, uh, I'm not sure they're going to have to get their uh, <laughs> equipment manager out. What they've got these. down here? No, I think it was some mud in the eye. Here's I some see. mud in your eye, boy. Okay, number 45. That was Robert Taylor being attended to there. As Jellico bring it out now, uh, looking at a second and second and seven situation. The ball on the 32-yard line, and Brian hands under full house backfield this time. Give is to Stanley. <laughs> Oh, and foul. Jellicoe unable to move them out very much. Maybe a gain of three. As Stanley went plunging over the uh, well, blocking the, blocker he, on that side. He gained three, but they only gave him one on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, well, that, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> That's about par for the course, though, yes, to tell you the truth about it. He would have liked to move it on back just a little <laughs> oh, bit, but we were too alert for him, I think. Okay, ready to go. Bryant, back to pass, throws out, completed there, and it's fumbled. And they're going to call it a live ball. Yes, it is, but I don't know about that. I, I don't know if he had possession or not, Jake. The I ball don't. was laying on his arm, really. I don't think. I he don't ever know if it. he ever had control of that ball or not. So I don't know. Uh, the ball. Was I'd like to see that one again, but we don't have instant replay capability. Well, I'll tell you what, that's, that was a terrible call. The ball was laying on his arm. He, he never had the ball tucked. He didn't have possession of the ball. It's a very poor call. Well, well they'll, uh, this, they'll all come back and get them, Don. You can't do things like that and get by with it. Jellico will get this ball back here and sour on him. Look here. Good lick, good lick. Boyne off the left side still drives for about three yards as Jellico hit him about the line of scrimmage, but unable to bring him down a strong runner. Jake, this born kid's not as fast as I thought he was, Don. No, he especially, uh, and, and he doesn't have the lead blockers that uh, Butler had against TSD. Oh, hush, don't mention him. I don't even want to think about this guy. We kept thinking, you know, we'd see shades of Butler again tonight. Yeah, that's true. Okay, again, Bowen with the ball, and this time uh, using power and runs over uh, Baird back there coming up from his cornerback position and uh, picks up the first down as Williamsburg now definitely threatening. The ball spotted on the 20 yard line after the uh, Jake, when you get a call, like, when you get a call like what we just got by the officials, uh, that has a definite psychological impact on definitely. the team. Definitely. Well, the Blue Devil captains went out and pleaded their case with the officials, but of course that made no uh, had nothing to do with I believe that one whatsoever. official said let's don't get the uh, case confused <laughs> but don't confuse me with facts yes <laughs> okay Jellico uh, looking at defensively now at two wideouts on about the 20 the ball is on the 20 and uh, Huddleston hands under and gives again to Boyd and he running hard now uh, penetrates the uh, line of scrimmage and picked up there by the linebacker. Jake, if you'll notice, he is penetrating much better than he did just before that call. He, he, he's getting five, seven yards carry. Well, he's going right up the middle, too, which he has been unable to do up to this juncture. Num big number and 74, Paul Morgan in there on the front line, along with Billy Perkins, uh, along with number 45, I see in there defensively for I the Blue we'll Devils. I guess we'll give him nine on That's that. That's Albert that. Kreger. Went right into their hole. Okay, this time again, it's uh, Bowen. And number 52, Sean Ferris coming up very quickly, assisted there by number 70 coming across uh, uh, Leon Dean and also on the tackle. And Big Leon been very active out there uh, in this game tonight. Had two, three, uh, three first hits in the first half and was in, a, in on an assist on that play. 6-11 remaining in the first, uh, in the third quarter. No score in this game. Jellicoe uh, 
and Williamsburg here uh, knocking heads at Hoyt Morton Field and Bill Humphrey Stadium. Bill Humphrey Stadium is exactly right. First down. Yes, sir. Short yardage situation and uh, Jackets uh, just went off left side and uh, Jellico playing rather lethargically, we might say, defensively right well, now. They need, a pick up. they need a pickup right now. Big play, fumble or something of this nature. Need to get back in this game. Ma uh, Stanley uh, calling the defensive signals for the Blue Devils. Huddleston, hands under. And a naked keep. Oh, he Man. got soured on that time. Exactly. Yes, sir. He's Sean Ferris, first man to make contact. Also in on the play. Yes, Creekmore and on the play. And that was meant to be a quarterback keeper, too. That wasn't a busted play. That was a design it play. It definitely was. And a loss on the play, I believe, of uh, about two or three. I can't tell, Jake. Uh, looks like a loss of about two. And Williamsburg's called timeout. Okay, uh, 519 remains in the third quarter as you're looking into the huddle now of the defensive unit uh, for the Blue Devils. Dino Oaks in there making some adjustments on Matt Stanley's helmet. Dino out there trying to pump these guys up. He says, guys, we've got uh, a quarter and five minutes and ten seconds to play you know, here. You game. know, unfortunately, Jake, we got a, a rule called against us uh, two weeks ago that does not exist. Uh, defensive unit blocking below the waist. <laughs> Tonight, uh, we get our backs broken with uh, a fumble on an incomplete pass. So, uh, you know, the ball, uh, sooner or later, these officials are going to have to get some things right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, these Blue Devils, and they, going, they're uh, going to bounce back here. This is a, they And if you'll recall, both of those hurt us psychologically a great deal. But we need to stiffen up right here. Maybe that was the play that did it. Okay, second down for the Yellow Jackets. And this time, Huddleston gives Gift to Bowen. Bowen. And he keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, and he's in for the touchdown. Bowen. Ryan Bowen. Jake, he slipped at least four or five tackles. Yes, he did. Went in from about the 12, uh, well, 10 or 11 yard line. So uh, the Jackets get on the scoreboard. As Jellico just unable this time to, uh, to hold them out. They've played so well up to this point, and of course, they'll bounce back. Williamsburg going for the two as they lined up now. Uh, Boyne in the backfield and the gift to the big man, Reigns, and it's good. So the two-point conversion's good for the Jackets. So the score, 8-0. As uh, Jellico now will line up offensively to uh, to take the kickoff and need to get cranked up here, Coos, or... or uh, Don, we can't get down and got to. No, we got to go. I'm going to get off the officials because what do you expect uh, out of men out there on a night like this in short pants, Jake? Well, that's, uh, that tells you something, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but Jellico, really, they're, they're going to pick it up. I see Johnny Clifton meandering down toward the sideline here. He was very uh, uh, upset he, by that call. Yes, he was, uh, he was helping for over the PA system. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, when it's so obvious, uh, it's it's hard to accept a call like that. Uh, there were five officials out there, and surely somebody had to be well, in position. Now, we have that kind of stuff when you go up to Williamsburg and play, but you shouldn't have that uh, here. Well, we're just like playing away from home every time we play here. I know. It? I've uh, Possibly seen... Possibly we get more breaks away than we do here at the half. I've I, you know, Paul Petrosky's team uh, that officiate up there one year just 15 after 15 yards, but be that as it may, uh, we're going to score here. Okay, back deep to receive the ball for the Blue Devils. Uh, looks like uh, number That's a short 30. One. It is a short one. Picked up there and fallen on by Marlowe. Yes, Marlowe feels it cleanly and says, well, <laughs> Let's I don't like this, the look <laughs> of this situation. <laughs> I don't so blame him. he just falls on the ball at the 34-yard line. It'll be first and 10 there for the Blue Devils. He with was 5:09 remaining in the third quarter. Marlow was a uh, was an up back or blocking back. <laughs> he wasn't supposed to catch that ball. That's true. And he, he gets in, he looks up, and all he sees is about uh, 11 orange jerseys bearing down. And he said, "Now wait a minute, let's <laughs> let's call it quits right here." Okay, the pass is thrown out to uh, to Stanley, but uh, the pass was just uh, no, it was completed to Brown. 
And it was just a short pass and nothing really. Uh, yeah, he lost about two. <laughs> yeah, nothing looked good on that one from the start. No, he was on his knees, and it could have been a late hit. You think it cost something like that? Ha. Well, <laughs> you know, the thing that's got me confused is Williamsburg is wearing the orange oh, uniforms. Well, that's that's a turnoff right there. <laughs> well, it is for us, but uh, those officials may be seeing it the other way. Well, I'm sure these are Tennessee officials. Yes, sir. They may you think this is Oneida. We can't never. Yeah, that's true. They look exactly alike. Okay, we're ready to go as uh, Marlowe split out to the left side. And the Blue Devils now back. Let's see. It, ooh, pass completed to uh, Johnny Baird. And, <clears throat> and hits close to the first down. Baird gained about, mm, they're going to give him about 10. Looks like Jake. He's going to going to be close. Maybe 11. He's about a half yard short. Third and, uh, third and a short yard. So uh, Jellico needs to pick this one up for sure. About a half yard, actually. So, what about a quarterback keeper here, Don? Do we have that in our? Uh, I don't know if that's playbook? in our playbook or not. I haven't. The coach hasn't shown it to me. Okay, Bryant, hands under. No. Nope. And no, no. Picks uh -huh. up the first down, coming out of the backfield, running hard. I believe it's Stanley. Bryant says, "I'm the quarterback." <laughs> yeah. <I> don't, <laughs> don't give me that ball. <laughs> I don't want that ball. You let that guy run with that ball. I'm <laughs> that's <not> right. <laughs> he said, "That's what these guys are standing back here for." <laughs> that's what they get paid for. <laughs> I'm paid to hand that thing off as quickly as I can or throw it. Get rid of it. <laughs> Get I don't rid of it that. anyway. Right. Sh shades of the turkey bowl. <laughs> That's exactly right. Okay, we're ready to go. That's Bryant, 44 yard line. First and 10. Back to pass, okay. and he throws one out. Completed there to Stanley. Short yardage. No, it's Brown. Brown. The he, both of them, one, one is 32 and the other one is 22, and it's hard to pick up that first digit, really, until they kind of square, square away with Especially you. when they're all the way across the field. That's right. And w with mud and water all over their jerseys. Pick up a three on the play, so it's second and seven for the Blue Devils. A ball on the 47-yard line as Jellico needs to get this one uncranked completely. We've got to put it sticking the end zone, Don, no question about it. Right. Big center, yeah. Billy Perkins, comes up over the ball as Bryant. Squares them way in the backfield and back to pass. And ooh, had no chance as number 40, the big uh, linebacker, Wade Rains. Wade Rains, comes through and really. I don't even believe he was touched at the line of scrimmage. He didn't have a prayer as a sizable loss taking the ball back inside the 40. They're going to spot it on the 38 yard line, 37 actually. Yeah, loss of about 12 or, well. So we'll lost for up, about 15. That's right. Third, it's going to bring up a third and about 16 for the first down, we're going to say. Clock running a minute 46 in the third quarter. Uh, Jellico trailing by eight. I don't know if they spotted the ball where they hit him or where he quit sliding. <laughs> I don't know. And this time throws one up and up for grabs and hits completed, but to the wrong team as the pass is picked off there by Brian Rakes. On about the 45. And another turnover by the Blue Devils as Jellico attempting the, to pick up the first down after uh, they had fallen way back, needed long yardage. And uh, Jake, Bryant I stand the corrected. Line that's, that's about the 40-yard line. It is the 40. It is the 40. A minute 29 remaining in the third quarter. So J Williamsburg back uh, in control of the ball at this juncture of the time. Jellico falling back defensively. See in the backfield there. Uh, uh, Brown at one of the quarterbacks. The other cornerback over there on the right side is Johnny Baird. The safety is Sam Bryant. The linebackers are Craiger and number 22, Matt Stanley. And across the defensive line, we'll try to sit them for you. Uh, at one uh, end is Sammy Marlowe. Across the way, we'll let, that is uh, uh, J Sean Ferris, the defensive end on the left side. And the big man has the ball, and he runs over and through two tacklers, would-be tacklers, arm tackling, and finally brought down there by a tough Johnny Baird, and he would made the save and tackled on. He yes, ran he did, through Jay. about four, five, or six Blue Devils. And had a mean, about three mean stiff arms. He certainly did. He certainly did. Got in the open field, and only Johnny Baird there to uh, bring him down. He did so. 
Jake, we're going to have to start tackling a little bit lower. We're hitting a little high, and we're hitting with the arms. This is a big, strong-looking kid, Donnie. And a big that makes us real prone to that strong arm, That's that true. stiff arm. That's right. And this time, Bowen off the left side, and uh, fighting for yardage, picks up about seven on the play, takes the ball inside the 30-yard line. They're going to spot it on the 27, I believe. It looks like Bowen and Range are just taking turns blocking That's for each right. other. They are, and both very adequate blockers apparently the ball is going to be spotted near the first down marker they're going to call for a measurement as the officials call timeout now the yellow jackets ready to go but the officials signal them back and we're looking now at the ball and you can see as the chain stretch about a foot it was obviously eight, short there eight was, inches there short there was no reason for that measurement it was obviously <laughs> short <laughs> Well, Donnie just didn't holler up here and ask you. That's the only thing. Could have saved him a whole lot of time. Yes, we could have. <laughs> no reason at all. No me. reason. All you got to do is look up here and let you shake your head yes or no. And that's it. Okay, we're ready to go. A second and about a foot for the Jackets. The ball inside the 30. And a quarterback sneak without question. And he picks up about two or three yards on the play. The Jackets are uh, kind of getting a little... Uh, a little rowdy there after yeah, the little, play over, yeah. yeah. But they always have been a rowdy bunch. They always want to uh, pick something. Uh, some kind to get of that, that late hit, that extra yeah. well, hit. They want to play bit a little of, uh, tough with those Blue Devils. I'll tell you, they Get that they, hand they, up they, under the face uh, mask, you know, a yeah. little ga <laughs> gouging and clawing. <laughs> Well, we're now, we play basketball like that in Kentucky, but you're not supposed to play football like that. No, no, this is one of them non-contact games. Right? That's right. Okay, <laughs> Bowen this time, and he's finally stuck there real hard on the second is guy. Is Bowen or Range? Uh, Bowen, the ball carrier. Okay. Craiger had him first, and uh, coming across, I believe, was Sean Ferris. So they're going to give really him a gain of about one. And Matt Stanley in there with a big lick on that one. You know, and that's the end of the third quarter as uh, we're looking across the way as the officials mark uh, march the ball back down the field. Of course, like you said, Don, Jellico will be going downhill in this uh, fourth and final quarter. And I don't know if the preacher wants to pause for any kind of a... Well, they went downhill, Jake, scoring-wise in the third quarter. Now let's go downhill and score in the fourth quarter and uh, see if we can pull this game out. Right. Well, preacher, I don't know if you want to work any commercials in now or not, but... Uh, it's strictly, uh, strictly up to you. <laughs> it's your call. If not, we'll keep talking. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, I keep uh, uh, wanting one of our big uh, linebackers. Okay, uh, Jellico now lining up defensively that back deep in their own uh, uh, in their own territory. Jake, I, see. I keep wanting one of our big linebackers just to absolutely tackle that referee. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he has me upset, you know. And, and I, want, I want to see why he just let it just, just peel his shins good. <laughs> well, that's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's illegal. <laughs> Williamsburg now, hands under his... Uh, Huddleston, full house backfield, gives down to the big, hard-running number 40 reigns, and he uh, picks up uh, about six yards on the play. Inside the 20, down to about the 13 or maybe 14-yard line. No, it's going to be about the 18-yard line. Now, we're, we're having to look through a post in a while here, Don. We're going <laughs> to have to say rely, that, on, it? <laughs> rely on our monitor a little bit more, I guess. But the, the uh, rain has... Uh, it's, it's slowed, we'll it, say. It, it's a heavy, is it a hard drizzle or a light downpour? <laughs> uh, one of the two. And this time it rains, rains again, and uh, Jellico just on, hey, what happened? I, I don't, don't know, know if the that, ball's loose or... Be a, <laughs> let's see, this time the official's doing a lot of signaling out there, but... I don't know what happened. They look confused. I don't know. <laughs> well, it looked like range was down. I don't know if the ball popped free and someone else had it or not. But anyway, uh, Williamsburg still in possession. Has the ball spotted on the 10-yard line. So it's uh, they're 10 yards away from per pay dirt. And let's see. Well, now, it's, it's going to be first and goal, Jake. First and goal from the 10. Just inside the 10. Just inside the 10. 11-03 uh, in the 
in this game as we're in the fourth and final quarter and hit in the backfield once, twice, right three times again. as, boy, he runs hard. I'll tell you, Jellico. Yeah, he picked up at least up four, support. Jake. I can't tell from here, but it looks like at least about four-yard pickup. Uh, again, Sean Ferris in on the tackle along with Stanley, the big man, number 72. Uh, We've got a hold here. Uh, Billy Perkins. Uh, pick up a two on the play. Ball spotted on uh, the eight-yard line, so uh, eight yards away from the touchdown is the uh, Yellow Jackets. So they ask for a timeout and get one. And rushing on to the field will be Coach Dino Wokes, the defensive coach for these Blue Devils. Jellico needs to hold. You're exactly right, Don't oh, to hold here. They have to hold. As we said, 10-31 remaining in this game. The field of... of as we're looking across the way now, the field does not look as, as we have it did some, the start of this We game have now. some company up here in the booth in the form of uh, Jim I. Gilreath, and he's starting to pace the floor. Now, I don't know if that's a good <laughs> sign or a bad well, sign, Well, I don't Jay. know either. Jim I, Jim I, oh, hello, Jim I has been around for a long time, Don. What yeah. can you say about Jim I? Well, he's, uh, he's one of the good old good ones. Jim I is an old former. One of the good old boys. Former, one of the former uh, he, devils out here. He I wore that blue and white, didn't he? Yeah. As a matter of fact, the whole Gilreath clan uh, made a big contribution to this uh, Jellico football program. Uh, right on down to, uh, to well, uh, Andy Beal, I, I guess, was the, Joe Carl was the last one to go through, wasn't Yes, sir. We can remember all these guys real well. As you're looking there, we don't want to say which Jim one. I. We don't want to say which one was the best, but we'll say a lot of them played here. Well, Jim, I was probably the. He's the heaviest now. Now, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're ready to go. 10:31 remaining, and Huddleston back to pass. Yes. Knock it down. Pass. Intercept that thing. Touchdown. Touchdown. Yes, sir. Passes was completed to uh, Eric Jones, and. Uh, that kind of fooled me, Don. I didn't yes. think they would go for a to throw the ball there, but of course that's what that coach across the way, that's what he's paid for. You yes. Know, uh, well, but anyway, the Jackets back on the board again as the score now looking at a 14-0. Uh, right. Hmm. And I'm sure they'll line up again to go for the two-point conversion. And you're looking at the sad state of affairs there on the clock. We have to say enough. Thing, uh, we need to we need to score quickly, Jake, uh, on this possession. Three times <laughs> <laughs> on this well, next possession. Let, let's let's score on each one. <laughs> well, now. Let's well, go. I, oh, mm. oh, no sweat as number seven just gets the ball, carries it around right in. That's Mark Huddleston going in for the two point conversion. And 16-0 uh, yeah. the score. With 10-22 to go in the game. Well, Williamsburg after Jellico got. Uh, the, the terrible call across the way, giving Jello, giving Williamsburg good field position the, on the 40-yard line. Jellico, as you said, it was very noticeable that they came out, played very lethargically uh, uh, defensive, and they just couldn't get the thing going. Williamsburg, has been, it in. Williamsburg has been picking up big yardage on every single play since that call, Jake. They certainly have. Well, they've been running the two big backs, uh, Brian Bowen and Wade Drains. They're two big, hard-running backs. And we actually, were, Jellico was... Uh, we were stopping those backs they, before they that well. In the first half, they held them to all, well, very acceptable yardage, we would say. I think Williamsburg might have picked up close to 100 yards uh, rushing in the first half, but very few passes. And we're ready to go as this one's a squib kick up the middle and filled it there by uh, one of the up backs. That's Brown. Yes, Brown picks it up and wheels it back to the 40 I'm yard sorry, line. that was Stanley. I saw the two again. <laughs> It is Stanley as uh, number 22, Matt Stanley, the senior, gets up off the ball, a good run back, alertly picks the ball up off the turf at the 30-yard line, brings it back for a 10-yard uh, return. They tried a quick kick us then, and uh, we were ready. And, you know, maybe Stanley showed us something, Jake. A little senior leadership here. He got the ball and said, well, we're going to move it. Oh, this little guy plays his heart out. He, uh, he's as hard-nosed as they come. I'd like to have this little guy on, on my team. I'll tell you that right now. Uh-oh, another one, another one, and the pass overthrown intended there for uh, Johnny Baird. And but, about the uh, 35. Bryant, Bryant just uncorked it too long, and standing back there wide open is Brian Rakes, and that's his third interception on the night, I believe, Don. He's, he's, uh, he just stood back there waiting the ball to come to him. Yeah, no he sweat. just waited on it. Yeah, but it was overthrown uh, 
bared by a good seven that's, or eight yards. That's one of those that uh, I think Bryant would have been better off to have started this series off with a running play or two. Well, he'd like it back. I would guarantee you that. Yeah, I think he looked over to the coach and said, can I have that one open? <laughs> Ten minutes, under ten minutes uh, left to play in this game. Now, about a frustration, he doesn't over-penetrate, we'll be all right. Mark Huddleston. And picks it up, and Jellico still not punishing him enough, Don. They've got to really... you got to stick that quarterback. Time. When he hangs on to the ball, you let yeah. him pay the price. Make him wish he didn't have it. But he's a tough kid, apparently. He's a, he he don't care at all to he's lower a big, that head. He's a big quarterback. He Jerry. certainly is. He's a, the tallest kid on the on the, the field out there. Oh, oh, well, offensively, anyway. He's bigger than the running back. He certainly is, by far. Okay, we're ready to go. Looking at a second and uh, second and seven. The ball's on the 38-yard line. Motion this time. Jones. And uh, this time a quarterback keeper, and he's wrapped up. Yes, sir. They were waiting on him. I see uh, Marlowe in there, but who made the contact first? Number 74, I believe, for the Blue Devils. And that would be Paul Morgan in there defensively, uh, wrapping him up behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of uh, a few yards on the play, so it's third he, and uh, actually we're going to call it third and ten. Don. He tried one too many naked bootlegs, Jake. Well, he's he's been successful on a number of them, but that stuff gets old to these old boys standing out after a while. That, line. After a while, they, right. that left side starts standing home. Say, Dad, gum it, I'm getting kind of aggravated with you. Okay, back to pass, and he completes it to number one. Oh, one man. Ooh, and diving across <laughs> was. Mm. Bryant, Bryant came across. He was going to sour on that dude. Jake, the defender, took a shot at him, and he just didn't get a good lick, or the ball would have been loose on that one. I mean, he he meant to. He certainly did. Bryant came across about 75 mile an hour, and uh, just as he hit the ground, Bryant had to go airborne and come across. Or it but the been. first the first contact, first. though, if he could have got the helmet in That's on that right. ball, it would have come exactly. loose. He really didn't have good control of the ball, and I think it would have popped loose rather easily. Here we go on a quarterback bootleg again. Make him pay, make him pay. And this time stiff arming his way around the, le the left end, and I see some flags on the field, Don. Let's see what happens. Jake, where that flag is, looks like holding. Should, uh, should be holding. Signal timeout. Uh, the officials should are be. conversing. It is, it is a hold. Against the Yellow Jackets. I'm so going to quit. I'm going to quit predicting these. Yeah. Well, the ball will be marched back. Uh, the hole. Let's see, Don. That's a ten-yarder, isn't it? Yes, Offensive sir. holding. Mm -hmm. So the ball will be marched back to about the 43-yard line of the Yellow Jackets. So Jellico needed that. So it'll bring up a, a first and. Let's see, about 18, isn't it, Don? Looking across the way. The ball mm. spot on the 43. Got to get down. Yes, got to get down to the 40. It's about 18, Jake. Uh, I don't have my slide rule out no, here. No, Cuzo could tell us. He's got his slide rule on his hip, I'd say. Okay, we're ready to go. Huddleston, hands under. Full house backfield this time. Gib to the second man through. That's uh, Mike Taylor. Comes mm. up to the 50-yard line. He Just gets about nine. He gets about nine of them back. Just on a little uh, quick opener off the right side. And uh, really putting all these big blockers out in front, gave it to the last man through the hole. I think we were flexing just a little bit too much. Good possibility. Over on that left side, uh, playing hard, though, is Johnny Baird coming up. Uh, no, let's see. That's a... Uh, that was Craiger over there on that play. Okay, okay, coming this side now again, it's Bill Jones. And, and he picks up about three, and maybe John, two. And Johnny Baird in on the tackle again. Johnny Baird has played an outstanding game defensively, along with Bryant. Bryant's been covering a lot of territory out there tonight. Jake, we need a hold on this. Brings up about a third and seven or eight, and we need the ball. Sean uh, Ferris has played we only have one about of the six more outstanding defensive games of, uh, of his, actually, his career tonight. We only have about six minutes to go, and we have to have that ball right here. Hands under is Huddleston. Give to the Bowen. Man, number 20. And flags. It could be holding and probably is. And Bowen gets away. Crager the only man to catch him. No. Brown. Brown runs it.
him down from behind. Jake, we had him twice in the backfield and let him get away, but we have to have defensive, I'm sorry, offensive holding where that flag is well, located. Well, no question about it. That one, that flag was thrown early, and there was no question about it. He, uh, yes, sir, he comes over and gives the uh, preliminary signal to the coach on the sideline, so it'll come back. Good run by the big, uh, big hard running Brian Ballin. But uh, let's see, now the ball will be marched back 10 more yards. Uh, Williamsburg has recovered on uh, each of their other large penalties like this. Holding as you're looking at the official. Now there's a signal as the ball marched back again to the 43 yard line. So we have about uh, third and looks like about 17. Yes, it is. And it's uh, we have five minutes and 30 seconds remaining on the score clock. Jellicoe trailing by 16 uh, points. So they got to get the ball back right here. Got to have a fumble. Oh, we'll take an interception right. right here. Yes, come on. Oh, my goodness. Come get him, on. big man. Come on, big boy. Let's get. All right. Oh, there we go. Sean Ferris again on the other side of the field, buddy. Uh, leaving his position over here, but a bit in hot pursuit of that quarterback. In Jake Billy Perkins down. was just waltzing in the backfield. He well, he was pushed in the back, too, really. Uh, that, that defensive man or the offensive man came up and pushed him right in the back as he started to make a turn back there and go for the quarterback, but the official, of course, not calling anything so incidental as that, you know. As, as a flagrant. Yeah, <laughs> as a push in the back. No, that's all right. But anyway, the uh, ball spotted on the 46-yard right. line, Williams and Williamsburg asked for timeout and that, gets it. That's their last one. That's all they need. <laughs> <laughs> they that's their need third it. one that's this half. That's, that's all, all of them. Get. Okay, as again, Dino Oaks goes back out to talk to his defensive unit. All right, what are we going to do? What are we going to do now? Well, Don, look here. A fumble recovery right here and march that ball in and an onside kick and march it in. We've got, we're right back in this game. We have about fourth and 13. What's Williamsburg going to do? Well, I don't think they've got any. I, if, if, if they were playing uh, good football, I think they would kick it. They'd it's kick on the, the 46. I'd drive right back and kick that sucker. Or do you think they'll run one and kill a little bit of time? I'd drive I'd right back and kick it. No, too much time to start running the clock out now. Four minutes and 47 seconds. Okay. I'd drive right back and kick the, kick the fool out of that thing. And that's... Uh, think we may have a fake punt? Apparently, what they are going to do, yes, they're going to punt it. I don't uh, see how they have any other option right now, really. Well, I don't either, but they're they they are not under pressure. Jellicoe's under the pressure. They think their defense can stop Jellicoe, and uh, so far it's done an adequate job of that. The ball rolls dead on the 30. Well, so now, I don't be, know uh, if they've been stopping Jellicoe as well as the officials have been stopping well, Jellicoe. Well, uh, or Jellicoe <laughs> stopping themselves. Maybe. Yes. Yes, okay, I'll go <laughs> along with that. But anyway, they've not been putting points on the board. That's the mainest thing. We... Need, and we must do that, Don. We in need order points. to win this game, we must score you, some points. Yes, you have right? you have scored a win. There's no <laughs> question about that. Behind, huh? <laughs> yes. Well, you okay. have to score to win even if you're yes, not behind. Yes, you do. That's exactly right. Of course it can. Even in a tie time. game, yeah, you have right. to score to win. Yes, you do. Okay, to give up the middle to a hard-running Alfred Kreger, number 45. Alfred has not carried the ball uh, lately, we would say. And uh, I only had about three yards in the first half on three carries. Give him about five, maybe so, six. This time, number 65, he's he's on the injured list. Arthur Smith. He carries the play back in, and he has a he had a, he got a bad wheel, uh, a right leg kind of gimpy on him. But he's back in there now as a the right guard on the right side, of course. And here we go. Single set back in the backfield. Bryant back in the heap. Oh, Ooh, little low. Pass intended for, for Brown. For Brown. Brown was open. A little yes, low. Uh, and we, we have a flag, and that's probably going to be offensive holding, Jake. Uh, on that play, Don, that's designed for Johnny Baird to come across and clear out that uh, the defensive man on that side, and Brown just fades to the inside. Uh -oh. Oh, it's against Williamsburg. Rep in the passer. Oh, yeah. You can't make it up now, boy. You're way, you've got us too far behind here, you've lad. Me you've messed up too long now. Yeah, you can't make that up. Uh-uh. Forget it. You'll yeah. never get on our side. No, we'll, I'll tell you what, we're going to call the building inspector out on him <laughs> with, oh. with legs like that. <laughs> uh, 3.37 remaining. 
I'm glad his socks are wet. It's first and 10 <laughs> for the Blue Devils. The ball spotted on the 48-yard line. Bryant hands under, and he'll probably be putting it in the air. No, a little give off the middle. Yes, sir, to Stanley. Stanley keeps on his feet down across the 40 to the 38-yard line. Just some hard individual running there by Matt Stanley as he took the little cross buck pay, uh, give there. No, that was Brown. Jake, you got the wrong two again. Got the wrong two again, but Brown showed some uh, good running power there, good balance as he was hit about the line of scrimmage, actually, and, uh, well, more or less fell down to about the 38-yard line, but it's a first down for the and, Blue Devils. And Rakes goes off limping for Williamsburg. Single set back in the, uh, for Blue Devils now as uh, Brian has two, but three wide outs, and the Craig up to Krager, up the middle, runs hard, picks up about uh, three on the play. The clock's running with exactly uh, three minutes uh, left now. And going in with play is number 61. That's Mark Johnson carrying in the play from Coach uh, Kuzo Owens. Clock continues to run as the big center, Billy Perkins, comes up over the ball. Jellicoe in the backfield this time has its uh, backfield split. Only Kreger behind the quarterback, Brown. And this time a little crossbook action again, and it comes to, uh, again, to Brian, uh, Brown, I believe. Did I get the right two? No, it's Stanley this <laughs> time. <laughs> well, for I say, get a listen, I say it. forget it. <laughs> it those two. When they come through, I'm going to say it's either Brian or, Stu or, it's either Brian Brian or Stanley. Stanley. Yeah. And we'll tell you okay, when the play is over. These guys change their numbers. They put a double out on there or something. A 99 and a zero. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> third, and, third and about two, a, long, a short two, really. And Brian hands under. Full full back back field. Yes, sir. Comes through the first man, and it's going to be close. It is going to be close. As Williamsburg stacked that middle. And but yeah, it's first down. Oh, yeah. No sweat. They don't even need well, to measure. Well, when he starts moving it back, though, no. Now, since he moved well, it back about two yards, if they it's going to be it, close. I think he looked at the sideline where the chain was and then started moving he the ball. Put, he put it where his foot was laying. <laughs> and that's the honest truth. The ball was yeah, two yards and he down looked at field. his belt buckle, and he saw that wouldn't move it back far enough, so then he put it <laughs> in his shoelaces. He put it in his shoelaces. That's exactly right. So this could, be, could and I think it will be a little bit short now, but a terrible spot. Terrible, terrible spot. Well, of course. These, these pitchers, I think, will verify. I mean, well, they don't have to take our word for it. No. All they got to do is watch look, this replay. Just look. Yeah. <laughs> look. Yeah, we're All not, we ask them to do is look. We're not telling them like we think it is. We tell them like it, like it is on the picture here. Yeah, they just look at your that. TV screen, and you can see what we're telling you is the truth. That's right. In other words, Don, we ain't just a Wixland Dixie. You know? No, we're, we're calling <laughs> it just like it is. And again through the middle is a, one of the two backs. Do, do you <laughs> think they can foul that spot Stanley. up? Do you think it's they can foul that they spot up? They can't foul that one. they got to give this one to us. Well, yeah, but... Uh, a minute 43. 43, you know, it's a little bit late. <laughs> yeah. No, nothing they do can make it up now. They are, these, these officials are falling behind, and they're trying to make it up just prior to the last couple of minutes of this game. Well, I never have been in love with officials. Uh, you know, uh, that's a historical fact. Well, I've, I've never seen, I can truthfully never, I can truthfully say that I have never really seen an official who I completely agree with. Well, I'm going to go further than that. I've never seen in the state of Tennessee a really good official. Uh, okay, it's a timeout to call for Jellico on the completed pass down to about the 20-yard line. Picked up about four yards now, on the play. I'm, I'm going to qualify that in a game that Jellico played in. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, you have to qualify a few of these statements, I guess. I, I've not seen many officials that I really cared for. Uh, of course, that's neither hither nor thither. I'm sure they wouldn't like me. <laughs> a lot they, of people think really, I'm arrogant. You they know, probably feel about that. the same way about us that we feel about well, them. Well, all I do is just correct their mistakes. I mean, they make them, and I call them. That's I mean, right. I don't make them. You know, I'm not. We just call it like we see it. That's exactly right. Or call it like it is. They call it like they see it. <laughs> well, I'm sure all these viewing, all these viewers will uh, agree with us that these officials have. Uh, <laughs> we do have the benefit of the camera. Well, we're not saying this really for the, the benefit of these players that are playing tonight, we uh, we shouldn't probably even be commenting about it because we don't want to use the officials as a, as a scapegoat for us. Uh, but they have made a couple of bad calls tonight. Okay, this time Brown, I know, is the man through the hole this time, and he's met at the gap. 
carried back about two or three yards. And uh, the clock's running again with a minute 10 remaining in this game. Jellico would, I'm sure, like to get a score on the board. But in all seriousness, Jake, the, you know who the real losers are when the officials don't make correct calls. It's the kids. It's the, yeah, we, exactly we stand right. up, we sit up here and, and make jokes sometimes about it, but the kids are the losers. That's true. Uh, well, you could see it just knocking the the, 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 the wind out of their sail when that bad call came on the, the fumble. Uh, they said pass uh, reception, which in our opinion, definitely was not, and I think the pitcher will verify that. And this time again, they tried the same play, but this time caught in the backfield, and that is, uh, no, as the end around, or they're gonna try the little short end around going up through the hole uh, to uh, Johnny Baird that time, but nothing going. And that fooled absolutely nobody. No one, but it's fourth down for the Blue Devils, and they're gonna have to put it in the air uh, this Possibly uh, with 35 seconds to go, Jake. We're just playing only, for respectability now. That's true. They're only, they're only and now Coach Owens makes his, uh, his sojourn <laughs> onto the field. <laughs> Goes out and gives a uh, whispers a uh, word of encouragement to Sam Bryant, the senior. Sam's played well tonight. And he uh, says, "Sam, we want a touchdown right uh, here, right now." That's right. <laughs> right now. Not tomorrow, but right now. Get a little, just put a little. There, there may not be a tomorrow. We have to have it right now. Right now. That's exactly right, man. <clears throat> no question about this, what he's going to do with it. If he has time to get it off, he has four wide outs. And Bryant back to throw it, and he throws it. And this one is going to be knocked down. And it's intended there for, well, Sammy Marlowe was the closest man to the uh, play. Bryant it, really took a and shot. It looked like Huddleston broke it up. Bryant took a shot, I'll tell you, but uh, no call that on the could, play. That could have been a personal foul rough in the passer again. Well, Jay. you can see there, uh, uh, he's holding his hip, and he's in a lot of pain, Sam Bryant, I'll tell you. He got uh, soured on, buddy. We, we, and limping, uh, as you can see, but we, Sam tough, he'll come back. As you can, you're looking at Sam there, and he's trying to shake it off, but he really got jarred, I'll tell you. You can see and a little bit, there. little bit late, in my opinion. Okay, it's first and ten for the, the Yellow Jackets, and the give up the middle. Let's flags fly. Let's see, and another flag flies. Uh, two penalties on this play. Were tempers flying along with the flags? Uh, illegal procedure by uh, the first call by from uh, the official. Let's see, we have another one now, and uh, the official's now going over to confer what that's all about. But I believe we had a 15-yarder, but the official didn't see the second flag or a 10 yarder i believe it was uh i believe it was unsportsman that conduct uh, call by the official across the way but the uh, the referee here didn't he even, just marked off five marked yards off five picked the flag up put in his pocket <laughs> and said we're playing ball he said, let's get it over with the well, clock started he didn't even consult the other official. well they're not even going to run this play the clock start start started in only 10 seconds and they don't have to run another play that's the game seven six okay it's and uh, this it's game over. is history. It's as the over. clock runs down one and zero, and uh, again, uh, Jellico coming away with a very, uh, uh, well, not pretty <laughs> uh, defeat, they, really. They came away on the short end of the score, 16 to nothing, Williamsburg. We're going to do better next week. Who do we play next week, Jake? We go to Coalfield. Go to Coalfield, and we'd like for uh, all the folks who would uh, get behind this team and Give them some lift, uh, give them a lift, Don, and uh, get over there and get with these boys. Kick off at 8 o'clock at Coalfield? This will be an 8 o'clock kickoff, I understand, and I'll be there. Hope a, a bunch of the group will come across and love for you to be over there and bring And, a, and let's support track. these Blue Devils. We've got to do it. These guys, we've got a good team here, Don. These boys are just not getting some breaks that they need. Uh, things are going to fall their way here in a few days. They've well, got, they've got a, a, a young kid who had just moved in here, Don, from Jefferson County. His Jason name is Bridges. Jason Bridges. He's uh, <coughs> only a sophomore, but an uh, outstanding prospect. Uh, Gary, he, he suited up tonight, number 21. Uh, but, of course, he just uh, just came in, signed up for a uh, well Has, Has it been here long enough this to learn, week, our, learn our week. plays? Right, and uh, I understand system. only issue, issued his uniform to him yesterday, so he has not worked with the team. I'm sure Coach Owens would love to have him in there now and possibly next week he'll be seeing action against Je against uh, Coalfield. I understand that he was a starter for Jefferson County High School as a uh, as a sophomore. sophomore. So he has all kinds of potential, I understand. He He's a linebacker and fullback.
and he's a good-looking specimen. Oh, he has certainly is. Good physical, good-looking physical character. Yes, so sir. he has the potential to help this team a for some time to come. Don, I might say a number of the Blue Devils played good tonight. I, I, I hate to start calling numbers, but people who stand out in my mind, old Leon Dean played a real good game tonight. Leon not been playing uh, seemingly this hard up to this point. Uh, Matt Stanley, uh, another outstanding game. Uh, Alfred Kreger uh, coming up defensively with a bunch of plays. Matt, as I said, coming up from a defensive, uh, well, the linebacking position. Brown Sticking played a, a good game. Johnny Baird played an outstanding game, but Sean Ferris, I thought Sean played his best defensive game by far tonight. Uh, Bryant played some good uh, defense along with Sammy Marlowe. Across the front line there, uh, Paul Morgan uh, had a number of tackles. As uh, Smith not in there defensively, he is uh, strictly offense. Uh, Billy Perkins made some good plays inside. Uh, Tracy Creekmore laid some real hard licks on some kids. Uh, Derek Brown played well from his cornerback position, and uh, we Jake, just got to get this thing together. Get our offense going. Th th this whole team just played a good ball game. They they, sure they, they played their hearts out tonight. They played well on offense. They stayed in the hole almost the entire first half. Well, they had a good long uh, 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 movement in the first half that could easily have resulted in a score. They had a back-breaking penalty on another uh, situation late in the first half that uh, could have made the difference in a score. Uh, I don't think this was a true 16 to nothing score. I think these teams are almost evenly matched. Well, Don, I'll tell you what, I am impressed with the discipline of this team. Uh, Coach Gary Owens and Dino Oaks, they have got these, got some top flight kids out there. You don't see them going out there throwing punches, play clean ball. Even they, after the frustration, Jake, true. they did they not get any play. No sweat. And, and very, stayed at home tonight offensively. Uh, very few offside penalties motion penalties. As a matter of fact, I can't think of over one in the entire game for the Blue Devils. So they're going to get better. We've got to get behind them. I'll be behind them. I'll, I'll be at the ball game next, next Friday night. And you know, I'll be this, this is one of the best disciplined teams that Jellicoe's oh, had in some time. Some good kids out there. We've got to support this team. They played well tonight. We need to get off of here. We want to, again, thank our sponsors, uh, the people who have paid for this telecast. Without their help, Without we them, wouldn't be here. That's right. And of course, uh, whoever they are, you go out and support them, people. Buy exactly their merchandise. Right. Buy their merchandise. So, Don, we need to get out of here for, uh, again, doing an outstanding job downstairs in the truck. Wayne Marler on the camera here tonight. We've got Ricky over here on one camera. Uh, uh, Jeff Brown handled the, the camera over to he our He had left. a mean camera on the left. He had a mean he? one. That's right. But we're going to get out of here again. We'll tell you the score 16 0. Jellicoe coming out on the short end. So, speaking for the entire crew, Don Moses and myself, Jake Bennett. Good night, everybody. Good night.